Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Mystic Beauty, and I'm here to do another general energy reading. What is good, my divine galactic soul family, okay? Gang, gang, what's good, you guys? Happy Sunday. I hope that all of you guys are in good spirits, high vibrational energy. I hope you are relaxing, chillaxing, right? Doing your thing. Whatever your thing may be, make sure that you are doing your thing. Shake your groove thing, shake your groove thing, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Whatever your thing may be, okay? Make sure you're doing your thing. <laughs> okay, so you guys, let's go ahead and jump into um, jump into these messages. Oh, you guys, Wounded Warrior is here again, man. I'm telling y'all, you guys, you're not to be messed with. I said it. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. Listen, the, the enemy, they can kiss my ass. The enemy can kiss my ass because this group is not to be messed with. And that is for sure, for sure. Okay? You guys keep coming out as the wounded warrior. So that means that though you may be a little wounded at times, because come on, you guys, who isn't, right? We all go through things where it wounds you a little bit, rather heartbreak, heartbreak. <laughs> My achy, breaky heart. <laughs> Heartbreak will wound you, you know? Um, family problems, family grief, whether it is with your immediate loved ones or maybe you're having issues with your children or just hell, life in general, right? Sometimes we are wounded. But who better for the journey and for the mission than you, right? Who got the juice? You do. So... I, it's, it's, it's no wonder that the Wounded Warrior card comes out for you guys all the time because it's, it speaks about persevering through your issues, like fighting through the journey, you guys, stay, but still staying on path. That's what set aside you from the rest, okay? Everybody can't hang like you. They need to just stay on the porch. You got this, all right? Um... This also talks about keeping your guard, staying guarded, okay? Keeping your courage, being courageous like you are. I just heard, um, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I share fear no evil, okay? So this is letting, this is the walking through the shadow of death energy, you know, but you're using that staff to hold you up and keep going because you may be a little fatigued. You may be a little tired. Yeah. Sometimes, you guys, we get weary. We get tired here on this journey, but we keep going. It, it is an ongoing battle at all times. But guess what? Spirit is sending you guys strength. So you're not alone. You're not alone on this journey. You know? I'm sending you healing positive energy. You are not alone. <laughs> and if you need some reassurance, I'm only a click away. <laughs> so... Um, we got communication, you guys. It's talking about unexpected letter, message, text, or phone call. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Yeah. I said, girl, don't you do that. All right. Um, unexpected message, text message, phone call, um, pop-up, voicemail, pop-up video <laughs> um, through mutual friends or planning. So somebody's planning a pop-up. Somebody's planning to pop up on you. Pull up on me. <laughs> you guys, this may be a Libra. Okay, this is this may be a Libra or someone with air in their charts, but also this is letting me know that this person is ready to come and balance the scales with you. Look at that. Somebody want to make something fair that they left unfair. So they could have left in an unfair way. You know, meaning they didn't tell you anything. They just kind of dealt. They just kind of ghosted. They just kind of took the coward's way out. And they knew this, that wasn't right. Now, come on now. Your mama raised you better than that. That, was, that ain't right. You don't do nobody like that. Just be real. This is what happened. This is what I have going on right now. This is where I'm at right now. You know, I'm sorry I let you down. I'm sorry I turned out to be this way. and You were expecting me to be this way. You guys, look at my stone that I got in the mail. Isn't this cute? This is really, really cute. I forgot what it's called. I'm going to have to find the paper. Okay, I'm sorry. I get so distracted. Okay. Um, but this person wants to come in and be um, very affectionate with you. They want to devote 
their time, their effort, and their energy to balancing things out with you. They want to make it right. This person is going to come in. They want to listen to you where in the past they did not listen to you. Um, this person want to bring you around their friends, their family in the past. They didn't bring you around their friends and their family. You probably didn't even get to meet them for some of you guys. Um, this is this is someone who's like kind of free spirited. So they're kind of like gone with the wind. They're here today, gone tomorrow type of energies. But this person is coming back. They're coming back through to balance some things out with you. I don't know why I'm getting Taurus energy too or Capricorn because this Libra energy got some horns too. So I don't know. I just, just feel that way. But the world card is here in reverse. So this talks about, you know, lack of success, being burdened, stuck, lack of achievements, lack of completion, stagnation, being disappointed and no closure. So this person definitely left you with an energy of no closure. This was, this burden you, they left you stuck. You know, you feel like you didn't achieve the necessary, um, you feel like you didn't achieve what you wanted out of the situation. You didn't get what you put into it, okay? And it left you feeling very disappointed. Look at that. All boxes check. Yeah, so you do check all the boxes for this person. So regardless of how this person made you feel, regardless of what they did to you, how this person could have made you feel like you were just not it and, you know, they found something better. They wanted, they want something else, but you check off all the boxes for this person. So this is how I know that it wasn't you. This is definitely some um, inner internal issues that this person needed to work out for themselves. Okay. Has absolutely nothing to do with you. Um, searching for your energy in others. So this is what happened. Two, two, two. Some of you guys may be in scene. You may see two, two, two. So I guess I'm going to designate two, two, two for this video's angel number. But that's what happened. This person, when they left you with no closure, they left you feeling defeated. They left you feeling burdened. I'm hearing down and out. <laughs> um, this person left you feeling, you know, very disappointed. You know, and it's nothing, you know. It is what it is, you guys. We all have been there. They left you with no closure and they left things just up in the air. They did not complete the cycle out with you. This person went looking for success in another situation, but Spirit is saying that they were met with no success. They didn't get what they thought they were going to get out of this other situation. Okay? During this time, you know, you guys push forward. You gained your courage back. You gained your drive back. You know, um, though you felt drained, you kept pushing. You, you, you stood in your energy. I'm hearing 10 toes down. Okay, standing your ground, you gathered your strength because you knew this was going to be an ongoing battle to heal from the devastation that this person caused you. And now this is why you keep coming out as the wounded warrior because you're guarded. Look at this. He like he's ready to whoop somebody's ass with this stick. <laughs> you like, oh no, I worked my ass off to heal from from this heartbreak that you caused me. I worked day and night. I cried so many tears. I couldn't eat. I couldn't sleep. I needed answers. Finally, you received the answers that you needed because you went to God. That's what you did. You went to God. You went to Most High. You went within. And you pretty much healed yourself. With the assistance of Most High, with the assistance of your angels, you were able to actually uh, pull yourself together, recharge yourself. You were able to heal yourself on this journey without the help of this person. And I do feel like, you guys, this was the lesson. You mastered the lesson, okay? Yeah. You mastered the lesson, and the lesson was how to heal yourself with little to no tools. How do you do it? How do you pull through? How do you keep going? You know, how do you be positive every day with no closure, not even knowing at all what happened? You know, you did that. You did that. Okay. <laughs> so you have every right to be in this wounded warrior's energy. You have every right to stay your ground and be guarded, you know, um, with this person because, you know, they're going to have to earn your trust again. They're going to have to earn the right to um, be in your energy at your most vulnerable state. So, look at that. Shield. Yeah, defensive. Spirit is saying this is why you're so defensive with this person right now. It says defensive, protect, 
support, safeguard, block, and guardian. Stand up, being prepared. Okay, um, hero heroic, stronghold, security, ward off unwanted energies, be on guard and withstand. Yeah, so you, man, this, this have turned you into a straight savage, a straight warrior type of energy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't know what this person saw. I don't know what they're thinking, but they're coming. They're, this person is getting together their communication for you. But you, you are going to be guarded, and that's just, and that's just facts. So they might as well get ready because it's not going to be an easy task. You know, um, there's something very, very important on the line here. And that's your heart. <laughs> so it's not going to be easy. It's not going to be easy at all. This person's going to have to come through with the come through. They're going to have to, you know, <laughs> wait on me. <laughs> this person going to have to wait. <laughs> it ain't going to be easy the way it used to be. You know, look at that. This train going to keep on rolling, <laughs> moving on. Life's a journey, a new endeavor, going away in a new one direction. And I heard a new direction on track and focus. You're focusing this time. So you guys have decided to charge forward, to move quickly, swiftly in a new direction. You know, you, you're no longer resisting the journey. You're no longer resisting um, what spirit has told you guys about the situation. You're just like, you know what? I'm going to keep pushing. Um, one monkey don't stop no show and that's facts you know um you decided to go a lot of you guys may be moving away or you've already relocated but this is just moving forward in a positive direction you know a lot of you guys are focusing on your family at this time or you're only focusing on people who are have genuinely shown you loyalty and faithfulness and um and they have shown you pledge allegiance to you on this journey your parents your kids your siblings you know like you're focusing on um true true um divine energy at this time true divine support you know what it's like this situation has really put things into perspective for you as far as what is worthy, what isn't. It's made you very grateful for the good energy that you do have in your life. And when you meet new energy, like pure good energy, like it's it's like being grateful for the small things, right? Being grateful for the small things in your life. I'm hearing uh, kindred spirits, you know, sincere energy around you, you know? Yeah, something is unlikely at this time. So if you were wondering, Spirit is saying that something is unlikely, but I'm going to clarify and I'm going to see what they're talking about. All right, Spirit. Wow, she's like on this path by herself. Maybe you guys felt like it was unlikely that you were going to make it through because she is. You remember, I just said, though, I walk through the valley of the shadow of death. I should fear, fear no evil. And look, it's, this is this looks kind of spooky. <laughs> it looks kind of spooky, don't it? But maybe you guys felt like it was unlikely that you were going to make it through. Wow, look at that rainbow. Yes. Thank you, Spirit. But you did. You made it through. It says, wish granted, serendipity, blessings, patience, and paying off abundance, hope, good luck. And a promise. This is a promise that God made to you that that if you remain faithful on this journey, if you just trust, you know, and you went you you went through this journey, you went through this path by yourself, and you had faith that they were going to come through with the come through for you. You know that you were going to be blessed abundantly each and every time. So this is why. Look at this God sent creation manif manifesting wealth, prosperity, and perfect timing. So you guys have some big blessings that's coming your way. For being loyal, for being faithful, being faithful to yourself and being faithful to the journey, being faithful to God, being faithful to most high, you know, really, really, you guys, it is so easy when you're going through um, trials and tribulations in your life to just give up and just say, well, things are not going my way, so I'm going to do what I want to do. I'm just not going to be a good person because things have never went my way anyway, Right? But then it's just it's just some it just takes a special type of person to say, no matter what is going on in my life, no matter how many people try to tear me down or break me down or hurt me on this journey, I'm not gonna let this change my heart. I'm gonna stand, I'm gonna I'm gonna stand strong and steadfast on my journey. And I'm going to trust God. I'm going to trust myself. I'm going to trust my spirit team. I'm going to trust my ancestors. And we're going to get through this. 
nine nine is here you know spirit is saying yes that's what this is about doesn't it feel good you feel so liberated because you made it through you made it through this <laughs> yeah so let me pull um some more energy from this person to see what happened what happened you guys are going to use mystic goddess oracle the beautiful mystic goddess if you have not subscribed to her channel, make sure that you do so. All right. Thank you. Spell work involved and lust and passion. So it says deep physical or sexual attraction and desire. Magical practices being used to influence the thoughts and the actions of a person or a situation. So you guys. Hmm. So this person was lured off of this path by um, Queen of Wands and reverse energy. This is this is manipulation at its finest. This person was bamboozled, led astray by a dark energy. Okay, I'm hearing someone using the Jezebel energy in a negative way to get what they want from this person. This person was definitely led astray. You know, but this person. Your person already had issues with lust anyway. And this energy, you know, kind of sensed what this person's weaknesses were. And they played off of that. And they, they pretty much lured this person away from you. Appearing, appearing in the form of all this person's wildest fantasies, right? And let me tell you something. When you're dealing with someone who's still operating in a 3D, it is so easy for them to get distracted by fantasy. Things of the world. Things of the 3D. You know? Things of this matrix. Yeah. Now this person is just seriously thinking about wanting to settle down after breaking free from this bondage that they were put under by this dark energy. Yeah, this was a sneaky link. This was a sneaky link. This was somebody that they were sneaking around with was using sex magic energy work on this person, you know, using using dark sex using <laughs> using um energy manipulation to um oh, i just heard tantric sex i don't know where that came from but um to pull this person away from you i'm telling you this person um spirit is saying that this energy played into your person's fantasies their nasty fantasies whatever that is you know whatever your person wanted to explore they were down and willing to do that and this put your person in some type of trance i'm hearing because spirit is showing me this person with like a fog over their eyes like this person can't see in both the eyes like some type of fog like a gray fog over both their eyes and this this energy kept your person blinded so whatever, whatever energy work they was doing on this person or whatever mani sneaky manipulation they were doing, it kept your person blind. Your person was blind. I was blind when they crossed me. Your person was blind when this person crossed them. They never saw it coming. You know, look at this. Wow. Under the deck, it says karma, reaping what one has sown. So yeah, this person, this was definitely karma, all right? It was. This person was giving you, I'm hearing feeding you false promises like you guys were going to do one thing whole time they're linking up with a sneaky link that was feeding into their, their low vibrational 3D fantasies, you know, and to be real with you guys, they could have offered this, this energy a serious love offer. Yeah, and it blew up in their face. It blew up in this person's face. That's awful. I can see, you know, how you guys are the wounded warrior at this time because, you know, you really, you gave your all to this person. You trusted them. You trusted this person the whole time. This person had a whole other thing going on, a whole other situation. Somebody who was, this energy was feeding their demons. That's what it was. And this person came with demons too. And I just think, I feel like these, these demonic spirits, these low vibrational entities that um, was on your person in this this sneaky link, they kind of fed off each other. Yeah. Building an empire. Okay, so, hmm. You guys are focusing on building your empire at this time. You're focusing on um, things that are only going to make you greater. Okay? You're focusing on being greater. Yeah, music. Some of you guys may be into music. 
but this person has been communicating with you through music so if you if you have heard a song and <laughs> you can you can feel you feel like this person's trying to tell you something through this song it's true okay it says unspoken love they've been carrying a torch for you all alone but unable to confess their love due to their fear of rejection and music brings them closer to you service songs remind them of just how special your connection was to them so this person is not coming forward to you out of being embarrassed but that they they got lured away they got lured away from you um by a dark energy i just heard a dark witch i'm telling you i'm telling you know somebody gonna come in one day and was like it doesn't matter if you're a dark witch or a light witch it's still wrong says who see people think they know everything they don't know nothing you know what i'm saying they don't know they they don't know nothing right right they just hear that being a witch is wrong because that's what somebody told them you know they just show you how gullible people are like how weak-minded you got to think for yourself everything has good and bad it duality okay you have you have and you have good witches that operate in the light and you have bad witches that that always operate in the dark okay just saying just like in the church, you guys, you have pastors who are really good pastors. They're really good. They're really, you know, serving God. They're really, you know, walking in their purpose to help, you know, heal people, right? Then you have pastors that's out here molesting kids, right? I don't want to step on nobody's toes, put them things up, but it's the truth. People are so quick to judge the spiritual community, you know, but you have good and evil everywhere in everything. You know, so anyway, um, what is this? We have coldness here. So it's like they feel you pulling away and they they wish they could pull you back and convince you that you're worth keeping. Wow. Now conv convince you that they're worth keeping. So yeah, you guys are in this <laughs> ice queen. You guys in this ice queen type of energy with this person. So yeah, you you're very cold with this person now because they sent you so many mixed signals. They sent you so many mixed signals, you know. So we're gonna see. We're gonna see how this is gonna play out, you guys. I'm going to extend this video. Um, over in the extended, I'm gonna see um what are the challenges that's keeping you guys away from each other. What can you do? Um, to help bring you guys in closer to physical union. Um, what's coming towards you with this connection? Like, what don't you see coming from this person? What else is hidden from this person? Um, I want to see what else, how else do they feel about you? Because we haven't really tapped into uh, emotions from this person yet. Okay, I want to see this person's future actions. And I'm going to get any advice from Spirit for you. All right. If you're interested in the extended, click the link in the description box and follow me over to the other side. If this was enough for you guys, love and light. Peace.